I'm a divine child of the great mother, father, God. A divine child of the great mother, father, God. I'm a divine child of the great mother, father, God. A divine child of the great mother, father, God. Hello. Back with your moon sign readings. Just for a... Um, refresher so that you know you know what's going on is basically this is from the great mother speaks oracle deck and this deck is specifically designed to help heal mama drama trauma mama drama trauma is a planetary disorder it's a condition in which the mother projects unhealed aspects of herself onto her child causing emotional and or physical trauma in cases where she is so committed to her dysfunction or as a great mother likes to say is unwilling, unable or unavailable to heal her own MDT because it is a cycle. Loving detachment is required. So loving detachment is accepting what is, you know, she's sick. She is unable to love you in the way that you need to be loved and support you in the way that you need to be supported. You establish those boundaries the way you need to based on your particular situation. But loving detachment is a practice. It's a practice of accepting what is, that the condition is what it is in your life and it is manifesting what it is and accepting that with a gratitude, accepting that with an appreciation for the fact that you are being able to learn more about yourself and to grow through your moon sign, which is basically your soul sign. You know, the sun sign is the physical personality, basically. It's what we do. The sun is what we do. It's great father energy, the law, the logos, the word. Great mother is the Holy Spirit. Great mother is the vortex, is the void. And so it's our emotion. It's what we don't see. Okay, it's our soul. It's our intuitive space. And so we talk about emotion in terms of the moon sign, your reactions, your thoughts, your feelings, but also in terms of your intuition, which is different. And that is your Vedic moon sign, which is traditionally a sign in progression to your moon sign. So if your moon sign is Taurus, well, then your um, Vedic moon sign is going to be Aries. It's 24 degrees, and so it is possible with signs being 30 degrees that your Vedic moon sign is Aries as well. So you want to check the links below because you might be Aries, Aries. So these readings are based on um, your Western moon sign, but are going to give you some intuitive insights from your general, what would be a sign before, your Vedic moon sign. So we're looking at the house of... Libra and the house of Libra is traditionally the seventh house in astrology and so of course in the Vedic that is going to be Virgo traditionally the sixth house so um, most of you Libra moon sign people are going to have a Vedic Virgo moon sign and so that means that you're going to be feeling intuitively a lot of sixth house energy and so we're going to talk about that in your reading for this new moon now your new moon readings are for you to really get a sense of who you want to be this moon cycle with your loving detachment what is it that you need to accept in your life as it is and appreciate as it is right here and right now because healing is the end of conflict. More specifically, it's the end of internal conflict. So we are experiencing a lot of external conflict in the world. We see it everywhere. And that is because we are all battling ourselves internally. That's how we know it's a planetary disorder. Everybody has some form of not feeling loved, not feeling nurtured and cared for. And so we're projecting this need onto others by what I call demand love okay it's, it's just demanding to be loved the way you want to be when you want to be how you want to be loving detachment is releasing that it's asserting yes i need love but let me detach from my structure from my limitations from my perceived notions of how that love needs to be manifested or shown to me western moon sign is emotional because it is your moon sign, but more specifically, we just focus on emotion and not intuition with the Western moon sign because the Western moon is earth centric. So it's based on you this lifetime. OK, and how you're feeling in this moment. New moon wishes are based on how you're feeling in this moment. 
How are you feeling in this moment in relation to where you want to feel 28, 29 days from now? That's what your new moons are generally based on. And then more specifically, new moon wishes are made with the Western moon sign because they're based on how you feel. And so how are you feeling about Libra related issues? How are you feeling about your relationships with others? Okay, how is the relationship with yourself manifesting in those relationships personally and professionally? And what needs to be tweaked? Well, I want to have more productive relationships with people in my workplace. And in order for me to do that, I need to be, I want to feel, be more considerate toward those that I work with. It's a good example of a Libra new moon wish. And so this reading is going to give all signs um, a perspective on exactly how to do those new moon wishes, looking at your emotions. But then also because each card does have a chakra, it's going to specifically look at the chakra of your general Vedic moon sign in relationship to what Great Mother is sharing with you that is coming through intuitive through that Holy Spirit space and guiding you toward your direction over the next 28 days. So enjoy your reading. Thanks for watching. Hi Scorpio, Sagittarius Moon Sign people. Welcome to your Libra New Moon reading. Now I'm gonna be looking for new moon cards, of course, in your spread, but I'm also going to be looking for in your sidereal Scorpio Moon Sign, the chakra that rules it. And that chakra is the gut chakra, the third chakra that is ruled by Mars. So in the sidereal, we're looking at um, ancient astrology, Mars rules Scorpio and it rules Aries as well. And so um, I'm going to be looking for the gut chakra in your cards, okay, for this new moon. Now, our goal here is for us to see how you are approaching this new moon. Of course, Libra has to do with lunar energies, seventh house energies of inner communication. So this is a very important uh, new moon reading and looking at Great Mother speaking to us through our intuitive space. Again, that Scorpio space for most of you. Now, it's also important to uh, see once you look at how you're approaching this new moon, what the new moon wish might be for there to be greater ego soul alignment. Again, so uh, timely for this Libra new moon. Everything begins as the source. Great mother is the insp inspiration for great father action, solar energy, solar impetus. That sun sign action is inspired by what happens in that inner space. And so that inner space is expressed in the outer Libra energy as relationships, personal and professional contracts, agreements, that kind of thing that reflect the relationship we have within ourselves, our wants, our desires, our needs. Now, new moon wishes that will align you with what the soul wants, what it needs for its evolution and how the ego feels about it is where we're going. And ultimately over the next 28, 29 days, as you look at this lunar cycle, what some things could be for you to look out for. Now you are approaching this new moon with the spirit of integrity, Scorpio, Sagittarius moon sign people. You are definitely in your truth. You are standing in it. You know it. And in fact, at this particular time, especially if you're watching it before the new moon, you are downloading a lot of truth that you are like, yeah, 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 I need to know that. I know, I, I know, I know that. I know, I know that. That's where you are. You're pointing things out. You're acknowledging things as they are. That is how you're approaching this new moon, which means that you are really already in alignment. That heart chakra, which is on this card, is the crossroads between the ego and the soul. The balsamic moon energy is telling us that you're downloading as well as the scene in the Wizard of Oz. Dorothy is meeting the people as she returns home and she's saying, you were there, you were there, you were on the yellow brick road and all of them were various and sundry characters along the yellow brick road also back at the farm. There's a truth that you have about this. There's a knowingness that you have about those that are around you also being important members of your soul journey. Now, integrity is the eye of aspire. We aspire to live in loving detachment, accepting what is with love in our daily lives with 
healing mama drama trauma. Your transformative opportunity is the R of Aspire, rebirth. This is also a balsamic moon card. All the Aspire cards are. However, this one is the throat chakra. Let's see, our throat chakra, where's our throat? Our throat is up here at the top, you see that? There's the throat chakra there. And so the transformative opportunity for you is to speak your truth. It is to be reborn in what this integrity is that's coming up for you right now during the beginning of this lunar season. And so also being a balsamic moon card, you're feeling the truth that you're downloading as a sense of rebirth, as a sense of coming into a newness of your own divine expression. Now, of course, being divine beings, we are dearly loved, never judged or condemned or left alone, dearly loved by whom? The great mother, father, God. We all have the primal yin-yang energy within us, which is, of course, reflected in this material, physical world as lunar energy and solar energy. This is just expressed within our entire molecular atomic makeup as the planets um, in our physical body and so we all have elements of it and so speaking of that element we know that the fifth chakra is ruled by mercury and mercury is conjunct the moon right now in Virgo Libra, Virgo and the sidereal Libra in the Western. And so that is 11th house energy for you. And so this is telling us that there's something that has to do with truths that you're getting on a heartfelt level about those associations, maybe groups, maybe clubs, maybe networks that you may be a part of, maybe some things having to do even with your public image are uh, coming up for um, refinement at this particular time as you're downloading this new information. What Great Mother does not want you to overlook is that you may be doubting some of these downloads. And so there may be some truths that are coming up to uh, transform you into a new person, a new being, a new insight with a new relationship with yourself um, that are making you feel that, hmm, can I really do that? Am I really that great? Uh, am I really a divine person? I don't, I, don't, I don't know. But being a Scorpio Sagittarius moon people, I'm not so sure that would be the case. I see second chakra here. And so that definitely is you um, with regard to um, I would say second house energy. And second house energy does have to do with your values. And so are you doubting your progression into your new self? Are you doubting what you think is possible for you? Because first quarter moon, speaking of your emotions, is facing the challenge, you know, taking action to face the challenge. And so Great Mother doesn't want you to overlook that there's some action that you need to take based on your emotions. And what you may be intuitively downloading, of course, the chakra, again, is second chakra, Jupiter rules Sagittarius and Pisces in the sidereal. And so um, that second house energy, it's also um, fourth house energy. And so your values related to your mother, your values related to your home, where you're living. Are you doubting that you can change that? Are you doubting what you're downloading about your relationship with your mother and, and, and taking the action to uh, deal with um, your divine expression. There's something that's wanting to come through. So let's take a look at that. In the center of your spread is the new moon card, Hattar. So this is definitely saying that it is time for you to uh, flip the script and instead of running away in fear uh, from facing the challenge of expressing yourself and enjoying your life, it's time to follow your bliss. So this new moon, I would definitely encourage you again with this second chakra energy, the second 
house energy for you to uh, really look at second and fourth house energy. What is going to bring you joy with regard to your lifestyle, how you're spending your time, your money resources as it relates to your mother? Are you the one that always takes care of everything and it's become too much of a burden, but you have so much guilt, you really can't deal with it. Guilt is running away from confronting the situation or expressing your divine self. It's running away in fear as opposed to following your bliss. And that's the pleasure principle, Scorpio, Sagittarius, moon sign people. The pleasure principle is all about uh, you grounding yourself with that Jupiterian amplified expansive energy in who you really are and what you truly want to express in the world. And you're downloading some truths about that. And Great Mother is definitely encouraging you, this Libra uh, new moon, to pursue that. To definitely pursue that because um, the transformative opportunity is rebirth. Now, in your shadow position, you are being rewarded for whatever efforts you are taking in this direction if you already are. Some of you already are, and you may not realize it. You may not realize that some things that are coming to your life, some things that are manifesting, some opportunities, people, situations that are coming up, you know, you may be kind of in that, well, you know, that this is happening, well, the bomb is going to drop in a minute because I don't know how I got this check in the mail. I don't know how I got this new business partner. That's so great. I don't know how, but seventh house energy is about relationships. And of course, all of them begin with the relationship we have with ourselves. So those of you who are already living in integrity, you are being rewarded. That is the raw card. The raw card is the waxing gibbous moon phase card. That is the refining card, the revising card that is having to do with you actually living according to what your intuition is saying. You actually living it out. You actually adjusting your life moment by moment based on what the intuition is guiding you to say and do. That is the primordial father card. Again, great father energy is inspired by what? great mother energy, the intuition. And so as we see in this scene in The Wizard of Oz, Dorothy and the three are being awarded, or rather the three, Dorothy wasn't able to get her wish until great mother returned, but they are being awarded the scarecrow uh, with the diploma, the uh, lion with the medal, and the tin man with the clock ticking heart, which is what he wanted. You are being rewarded as well. Maybe as they, not as you expected again, but as a signal of your rebirth in your integrity of expressing your divine self. How you're dancing with the shadow that you may not realize that you are experiencing or that has not occurred yet for you because you have not yet planted the seed of pleasure following your bliss is the prostitute. Now, the prostitute is a ancient the oldest profession because we all must do something in exchange for our material sustenance in this physical world and so the question with the prostitute becomes are we doing that in a way that sells us out that sells us short that demeans us as human beings or are we doing it in a way that really does express who we are again that divine expression you know with that really does honor how we've been reborn and how we see ourselves in the world and kind of faking it until we make it even and just saying, hey, this is what I'm worth. You know, take it or leave it. But this is what I bring to the table. I'm very happy to do this work. In fact, I love this work and this is how much it'll cost you. You know, that kind of thing. Doesn't matter the occupation, but whether you feel good about it or not is the pleasure principle and so dancing with that pleasure principle with Ra in your shadow is definitely an indication that you either at this time don't know your value that you are worth by indicating by overlooking you this self-doubt you don't know that you're worth it that you're worth following your bliss that the truth that you're telling yourself is valid and it needs to be pursued. And this is something that 
uh, is not an ongoing thing for you. Remember, emotions come and go. That's why we have so many lunar phases, right? They come and they go. They come in one sign and they're in a different sign. It's in Virgo, Libra, this moon. Next moon is going to be Libra, Scorpio, which is a whole different energy. And so just right now, this is what Great Mother is signaling in on for you. Now, to release is anything that keeps you from having self-compassion through this process. You need to be kind to yourself. Be nice to yourself. This is very challenging for you right now. All of this eternal energy. Saturn is the school teacher. And you have all this um, Mercury energy that's conjunct the moon in your 11th house that communication is going on you know and then second house with Saturn you have reevaluation of your values and so you may be saying some things that you believe one minute and the next minute it may not so much be with that self-doubt because you're wanting to express your your divinity but it's 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 kind of new for you following your bliss if it's not new for you again some of you are already living and you're activating this uh, great father energy and being rewarded by it this is a confirmation for you to keep on honoring yourself and keep on being gentle with and to yourself. For those of you who uh, still need help with this, what's going to facilitate that is you embracing your shadow. Inanna is the Embrace Shadow card and it has to do with actually being able to tap into that intuition, trust that intuition, and really working with it. What is your intuition telling you about things that you would rather not face, about shadows in your life, yourself, those embarrassments, those things that you'd rather others not know, and in fact, that you'd rather deny yourself? What are some of those things that are coming up for you right now that are being downloaded in this phase of integrity and rebirth? Great Mother wants you to look at those things and to work with those things in order to facilitate self-compassion. You need self-compassion. You need to look at those things with the sense of that crescent moon energy, which is really what you are in right now. If you look, if you Google uh, Scorpio moon right now, you're going to see this moon phase. And so this is a, a real emphasis, in other words, that Great Mother has in looking at your emotional state. You are in a sewing state, but then you're also in a processing state. And so that's why it's kind of this back and forth thing because you have this kind of soul, this processing information, but emotionally you're wanting to move with it. And so um, that's why self-compassion is coming through as being extremely, extremely important for you with heart chakra energy. You might want to look at where you have um, Venus in your chart because it did go retrograde on the 5th um, in Scorpio. Okay, so it did go um, retrograde in your sign um, um in, in the Western, your 12th house rather. So it went retrograde in Scorpio in the Western. So emotionally, um, you're feeling, you know, like you are reflecting on what is a good relationship for you, you know, in your life. You know, what is... Um, worthy of your resources who is worthy of your resources you are reflecting on those things and so have compassion with yourself you don't have the answer yet okay you're working through it and let yourself work through it let yourself figure it out and 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 and, and be in a state of um, curiosity about your process as opposed to judgment that is what is embracing your shadow is all about that's what it's all about. So your new moon wish, therefore, would possibly be something like, Great Mother, I want to easily and effortlessly stand in the truth that I know in order to follow my bliss. Great mother, I want to easily and effortlessly follow my bliss by trusting the truth that I know. Great mother, I want to easily and effortlessly release self-doubt so that I can love myself enough to trust 
what I know, I know, I know. Those are some just suggested wishes for you because your outcome card is Akhenaten, the law of mystery and divine order. Over the next 28, 29 days, you want to look at releasing anything that compels you to demand an answer from the universe, great mother, great father, whoever you want to demand that answer from. It might be from your mother. The law of mystery and divine order is indeed a third quarter card, which is release card. It's forgiveness card. It's letting go. It's also the yang card, which symbolizes our incarnation, grounded in this physical world, root chakra card. And so over the next lunar cycle, as this one progresses, you may want to, as you process what you are dealing with, self-doubt, more self-compassion, embracing your shadow so that you can reap the rewards of your integrity. That's another new moon wish. You know, great mother, I want to easily and effortlessly embrace my shadow and self-compassion so that I can trust myself enough to receive the rewards that are here for me. Okay, remember we assert these wishes uh, within 48 hours of the new moon and that's October 8th and 9th. Over these 28 days, you want to release any need to have the answers. You are in process. You are doing a wonderful job. You are already extremely astute at doing this with that Scorpio moon in the sidereal. And since this is 11, um, you know, really 11th house energy for you. Um, have I been saying 11th house and it's 12th house? It's, and this is really 11th house energy for you. Um, you are going back and forth between personal, professional, internal. You know, it's kind of cycling through. And you, you're pulling it all together and it's coming together for you. But give it this lunar cycle. Thank you so much for watching, sharing, and liking. But above all and most of all, remember Great Mother loves you. And I do too. Child, the Great Mother, Father, God, God. A divine child of the Great Mother, Father, God. I'm a divine child of the Great Mother, Father, God. A divine child of the Great Mother, Father, God. I am Great Mother, the still small voice of the Holy Spirit and Divine Mother. Cosmic Womb.